What's up, everybody? Is you know, is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this bitch recording? Let me go ahead hey, on now. Let me put this number down. 515-604-9300. Access code. 982-884. All right. We're going to post the call in. Let me put the call in number here. I know y'all want to read me. I know y'all ready. I know y'all ready. <laughs> I know y'all ready. <laughs> What's Ooh, up, Tay Hattie? What's up, fine ass Tay that Hattie, baby? You that tatted, that tatted. Tay that, tatted. ooh, you fine. You know that. 314, baby. What's up, Alexi? Mm -hmm. What we doing? Call in number, girl. Let well, me post what's it. Up? Girl, let me, because we about to get it. Yeah, I'm looking at my comments. Oh, yeah, I welcome you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the phone lines are open. Okay, so we want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching us here on the Queen Supreme Court show live. Yes. And um, I want to let you guys know that in October, it's the Libra season. Seasoning. Seasoning. Libra season. Seasoning. Libra season. And um, uh, we will be loud, live, and in color in Orlando, October 15th. Get your tickets on Eventbrite. And on October 22nd, we will be loud, live, and in color in Baltimore for the Queen Supreme Court Live. What's up, pink pink flip-flops? Girl, I got the shoes. I'll be posting them tomorrow. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. Listen, this is a Lachey hair. This is some Lachey. Lachey be... Lachey, 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 be Lachey hair got some good hair, bitch. Lachey be sending me that good-ass fucking hair, bitch. What's good up, hair. Lachey? Come on, All right. bundles. All right, we get ready to go. Listen, the call the number is 515-604-9300, access code 92884. Tonight, we had a good show. We laughed. Yeah. We keyed. I don't care if a lot of you hoes didn't like it. I mean, we liked it. We had fun. We drank. We ate. Your input is invalid. Oh. 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 Yes, that right Alexa. That through. I'm sorry. Was that for me, <laughs> Jamel? Alexa? <laughs> Jamel, was my input invalid? <laughs> Like a parent about to throw their child. Okay. Did you really just do that? <laughs> so tonight's show is sponsored by the One Seafood. Y'all already know we oh over here eating. And look at that. My sister back there, she's allergic to stuff, but I, all that she can't eat, I will. I promise. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be sister. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna be busting this up. I'm gonna suck on that leg so bad. Just suck on the tissue. No, no, don't, don't let her. We I, listen. Uh, just, just I'll, I'll, I'll take you to the ambulance. I, I feel like you need, you need to. to you don't have to eat the no, fish, no, but no, you no. have to taste the seasoning. Sister, I love you, but I ain't got but a thousand dollars worth of home insurance. <laughs> <so, yeah. laughs> you can't have her I'm falling all out. And that's gonna suck one leg. Girl, you gonna break out, girl? No, I'm not just gonna suck the leg. Girl, no. You gonna you break want, out? You got some Benadryl? Oh, oh. You got some Benadryl? I got Benadryl. Oh, Woo! Spicy. I love popcorn. Okay, you can put it down now for it. I don't want you to die. No, don't do her. Don't let Ooh. her die here, cause honey, Ooh. we. Go, but she listen, she's teaching y'all. She's teaching y'all. Look at it. But one thing about us, we go to heaven in this house. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> All right. So mm, I eat it, girl. You licked on it. I still eat it. <laughs> you just probably leave a good spirit. A spirit of a good man may come through here, and I may have to lick and suck on him like that. Uh, yeah, you need to have a sausage. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a thousand folks watching right now, bitch. We finna tear this shit up. Listen, I know we said things. Listen, mm, sister. Oh, you got a fry plate. The pure fry. Fish the what? Come over here, sister. Show them. Show them what this is. What, what is she got? You got fried fish, sister. She got shrimp too. Fish, girl. Yeah. God. It's swimming. This is just. Hey, everybody is doing seafood again. Y'all already know. <laughs> Delivery only. Atlanta area. Y'all can um. Call, text, 678-753-5486. IG is The One Seafood. Facebook, The One Seafood. Um, I don't know what you want. What you want to I want to taste her fish, but you know. Oh, catfish. That's fried catfish. No, that's you. I got no titties, baby. It's all ditching ass on here. I know you can't eat all that other stuff. Thank you, babe. Thank you. She want to show Phil, honey, with the hole in this. I ain't going to show my All right, bitch. Girl, we Okay. She's happy, baby. Don't, don't Here we go. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Every people are down in the comment mm -hmm. section. They're putting Team Little Kim, Team Little Kim, Team Little Kim. All, Kim. All right. Like that. All right. All right. So we about to get the show started. <laughs> here on here on the court ledger, we talked about we talked about oh, Tiffany Fox. 
We talked about Tiffany Fox's album. We talked about Cardi B. We, we congratulated Cardi B for getting her number ones on the Billboard, her third number one. We talked about Steve Harvey's show being canceled and replaced with Kelly Clarkson since you've been definitely gone. We've also talked about Bill Cosby. Don't know how to keep his homes together, so he has to go home for a while. We talked about the bus drive that allowed three kids ages 11, 13, 11 and 13 to drive the cheese bus. We also talked about Cat Williams, Kevin Hart, Leslie Long, Dick Jones. <laughs> we, we showed the bicycle blunder, the, fl the flying raccoon, mm -hmm. the South Carolina teacher, the pastor, Nick Cannon and Kanye, and, Ki and Kim Kardashian's pre-certified pre-owned vehicle. We also talked about the baby mama drama, Muslim women fighting in Kabush. We also talked about the cocaine delivered, the woman shits in the cop's car, the fake sign limit, and the one gotta go, which for me, it was Remy, okay? Now, we're going to open up the phone lines, but before we open up the phone lines, let me say this, and, be, and listen, we, we want you to be respectful, we're not going for all that, I have already instructed Jamel to let you motherfucking hoes have it. <laughs> <laughs> to let you, oh. let you motherfucking hoes have it, okay? <laughs> really, really, doing the boom side. What's up, Tim? Alright, alright, here we go. Jamel, open up, let's take the first caller. Let's let's see what it's given. All right. Uh, First call, I'm calling nine four four three. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Keith Madison and special guest Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's budget? Go ahead, call them one minute. Hi there, Jamel. You don't even have to instruct me because you know this is Dina from Jersey, and I don't even What's do good? it. <laughs> What's up, Dina? Dina? Okay, let me get through this quick because I got a minute. Hey, Maddie, I love you. I love you too, babe. What's up? Hey, sugar. Um, not, not just wanted to go tell you a little bit about the ledger and what I heard tonight. I was going to say, um, I've never heard your co-host before, but I checked her out on um, Instagram. She's very beautiful. Let me say that. Thank you. You know, and it was interesting. <laughs> Now I'm one of the one of those people that watch you. I think you are awfully funny. You cracked me up. 
And um, I was just wondering why you feel the way you do. It ain't about the show, so don't get mad with me. But I just want to know why you feel the way you do about Christians. Because all Christians may have a, don't people don't feel the same way. No, they I don't have a difference of opinion. Okay, but um, that would leave me, you know. I know, so baby. Listen, way, so I was just wondering. Hold on, hold on. I got to answer this question, so I need y'all to be quiet over there. They're getting plates and shit, so I can answer this question. I'm a Christian, too. So I'm a, I'm listen, a... I used to say that I was a Christian. What I'm saying now is I'm spiritual. Because somebody, I was on Tony, Tony Sotomayor's show one time, and a, and a Christian person called in and wore me out. And it was like, bitch, very much, very, very, bitch, don't you use the word Christian with you when you're not doing things that are Christ-like and this and the other. And, whoop, and I was like, you know, I'm not, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start saying I'm spiritual. Now, I grew up in a home. My mother is Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. My mother's Christian. So I don't have anything against, I got against, against people that scream that they love God, but they hate everybody else. That's, that's my right. problem. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of that stuff is associated with people that, you know, call themselves so-called Christians. Are, that's in every religion, though. They feel like everybody have their own perspective in every isolated religion. It ain't just Christians. Yeah, but a lot of Christian right. folks, a, a lot of people... I guess it seems like, but, sometimes I guess when you say, like, I feel like that when they compare us, they'll say, oh, well, you're a Christian, and I think, I mean, I've heard you say can't stand us, but I'm like, no, 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 no. I mean, those, no. Nobody don't hate you. you no, know? no, no, sister. I don't mean that I can't stand all Christians, but there are people who who do things in the name of God and God don't even know them. <laughs> right. 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 There are a lot of people out there who scream like they, like, oh, God told me I, I, I hate what God hate. Bitch, if you hate what God hate, then you need to stop giving your free pussy away or stop giving your free dick away. Don't think that because God said abomination, he said abomination and he said, uh, 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 you know, about gays and, and, and every time it comes up, the only thing that they want to bring up is the is Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah when everything else, you feel me? And it's just like, they feel like, like if you have a conversation with a person, a person feel like, oh, what, a person that identifies as a, as a Christian Christian that says, oh, well, you know, God ain't gonna, God, God ain't gonna bless your life or God ain't gonna, I've had this growing up hearing this from people that said that they were Christian people. God ain't gonna bless your life. God ain't gonna, you, even you as a woman. Yeah have been in a situation where people have told you, well, you know, you ain't living right, God ain't gonna bless your life, and yeah. this and the other. But a lot of Christians feel that the ultimate sin, the ultimate thing that God do it hates is, is gay. But they, one sin ain't greater than the other. That's not, I don't look at that as a sin. You can't help who you love and who you are. I was asking, and I just wanted to hear your opinion about it. I didn't know. Yeah, and I don't want you, as yeah, as a fan of mine, I don't ever want to make you feel uncomfortable by, by, about your faith and what you believe because I walked around for many years saying that I'm a Christian. Like, I have said this for you that I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian or whatever because I was raised in a Christian home. But when I got out here in the world and I started understanding spirituality and me being me me having more of a spiritual connection with God than that, than what's going on, what's quote unquote the doctrine, you know, I've, I've found a different place about myself. You feel me? So with me finding that, and then I started looking at people that say that they Christians. Christians meaning Christ like. Like, girl, I've never seen Christ turn anybody away. Right. The Christ that I know, I've never then, seen I Christ do that. And then you know how when, when you say, I guess they say, okay, I don't believe in the way you live your lifestyle. Somebody else say, I don't believe. that. I don't think that means I hate you as a person. They just means they don't believe in what you do. I mean, and even, that, that, could, that don't have to just be gay, though. That could be, I don't believe in murderers going around murder people. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not, it's just, it, it don't mean I don't love you. I don't like you. I guess sometimes when I hear people say that, or when I hear, let, let's just say, for instance, out here, I, I, I've actually heard Craig before uh, have a conversation about Christians, and sometimes I get a little offended. Like, well, oh, well we don't want you to get I offended. Y'all like no. make me laugh. Y'all yeah. make me laugh. But, and, Oh, if I think if we saw each other on the you know personal level, we would have actually good time. Yeah, so, but but we I don't. Know, I, just, I ain't trying to hold y'all up. No, I know, but I gotta get this out because I gotta yeah, get this out. I have to get this out to a uh, uh, Jamel because. There are people that I've seen this written on my YouTubes. I've seen this written in comment sections for a lot of Christian people say, well, T.S. Master, I love you. And that's, I, I don't like the when you say that. But when you, when I point out things, I don't want you guys to take that as a personal situation because <clears throat> I can't point out 
specifically and say you as a Christian. But when I'm talking about the situation, when I'm talking about it, it's that situation. Like these people that are calling themselves Christians here. Like I'm, I grew up with, with people saying, I hate you. I love God, but I hate you. Yeah. I love God, but God yeah, don't like you. I love God. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to heaven and you going to hell. You feel me? I'm not, my seat is already yeah. secure in heaven. You going to motherfucking hell. You going, excuse me. You're going to hell. So I grew up with that. With me me having to grow up with that on a day-to-day -day thing, I, I, I only express myself from a place of what I've been suppressed through, suppressed with. Right, right. So and then my suppression has been, excuse me, my, my, my oppression has came from lots of Christian, mm -hmm. lots of, and a lot of black people have a problem with me when I say, my, when I talk about my own color has been, has done some of the worst things to me. And it's like, oh, you hate your own race, you just, and it's not the case. It's all, those are, that is my experience as a tr trans person. Like, this stuff has happened to me from Christian, right. from black, from gay. I had somebody under yeah. Tiffany's, under, a gay man under Tiffany's post said to me, tell him he better not say nothing about Lil' Kim. And it's mm -hmm. like, first of all, you're gay too, niece. And you want, you want people to treat you equally. You want equal, equal employment, equal stuff. Why would you do this to your own sister? I'm still your sister in this lifestyle. Because, sweetie, if they packed us on a boat, if they wanted all things gay and trans, go, bitch, you going. Right. <laughs> They're shipping right. your ass too. That's right. It's not about you being the top, bottom, masculine, feminine. You're a fag, and you're gone. Right. Yeah. I think we speak, and, and, and that's just true. We all speak from a place of which we've been. So I think sometimes I was like, well, wait a minute. Why is it okay? And I guess I've heard um, a lot of times in the, in, from the gay pe people and Nikki P community, not trying to be disrespectful, please don't take it that way. Uh -huh. But I've heard them say, Things like, you know, um, oh, Christians this, or just they can say any and everything about Christians, but if a Christian or somebody who's lived saying or love God say anything about the gay community, it's like they hate us. It's a hatred type of situation. And I'm like, that ain't fair. That ain't It's, it's, it's that not ain't fair. fair. I, I, I'm going to go. That, it's it's not fair. True. It's not fair, but you got to look at who made it that way. Mm -hmm. You got to look at who yeah. gets up every every Sunday and, and only preach about the fags. Yeah. Who right. gets up everything and, and, won't, and, and condemns every, everything. Their sermon is about the queens going to hell. We don't want the preach. sisters in the church. The foundation is I don't want the sisters here in the church. If you wake preach. up and you get up every Sunday and this is the thing. You got whole conjugate revival. I can't stand sisters. Preach. I'm sick of the sisters in the church. Well, where are we supposed preach. to go? We're not supposed to go. The foundation in the church. It's like, come on. I mean, in the uh, yeah. so we and got to know what everybody in, in, in and and let me ask you one last question. When they get up, instead of saying sissies or saying fags or anything of that nature, when they get up and preach, what the word say? What is the offense when it comes to that particular situation? Instead of calling somebody out their name and, and calling them all names that you all disagree with and saying, well, this is what the words say. If it's, a, if it's brought across that way, is it still offensive because they're preaching from the word or is it just certain terminologies that they use? Well, oh, so so let me ask you this question. Do you think Kim Burrell was correct? Because you know I wore her motherfucking ass out. <laughs> I laid her gnome shoe wearing ass out, bitch. That small gnome boot shoe wearing ass, bitch, with them toe up motherfucking wigs on her head, bitch. Because I felt as though that she was she was not preaching from a biblical place. She was pre preaching from a personal place. That's like when people cuss me out and say, "Master, you going in on Cardi or you going in on Remy from a personal place? You're not coming from a factual place. You're going from a. I got the. I, oh, we got to call a thing a thing. And and the thing yeah. the thing was her sermon when I wore her ass out two Christmases ago when I let that fucking ugly ass mongoose face ass bitch have it two Christmases ago I don't like her when I let her ass have it yeah. two Christmases ago when that bitch was talking about all the gays is gonna die this time and the other and whoop de whoop and blah blah fucking blah okay <laughs> the bitch yeah. went on to talk about her money and you know her her these is fifteen hundred dollar boots and this and the other and my thing was. She opened up her sermon talking about that she ran into a gay person in this fucking store who was like, ooh, child. And it came from a place of, I'm so sick of these gays. Just like that old ass lady, that old 
cunt that we on the cot on that Kajic, them old what's that old bitch name Which that we one? on the on them Kajic shows? I watched some old cops. She said, I can't stand sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of the sisters. Um, What's that old bitch? I don't know what that um, old motherfucking um. whore's name is. I don't live for that. Like that type of stuff runs my pressure up because you telling people, you telling the sisters to get out of the church. And it's like sissies grew up in the church. Sissies come there for refuge. Yeah. You don't know what we seeking from God. Right. Mm-hmm. You get the mm-hmm. sisters out of church, no. baby. One in the choir. No, I no. didn't. I didn't. Her whole sermon. I didn't hear mm-hmm. it the first one. I, I didn't get in the, mm-hmm. into all of that. I don't know. And like everybody was saying, I've heard some different different opinions when it comes to her. I didn't hear her whole sermon. I didn't even watch it to be honest. I heard snippets. I saw bits and pieces, and I said I need the full sermon of her or what she said or what happened. And I asked who something happened at her church, and she was speaking to it to my understanding. That was what she said. But a lot of times you can't speak on something if you ain't there you ain't see it do i feel like the way she brought it was wrong that could be a possibility but i don't feel like uh what some of what she said she said i was talking about somebody in my church i don't know i wasn't there i don't know but i what i was asking was if the terminology is used that, that i feel like y'all feel disrespectful or you feel disrespectful is it is that what the problem is or is it now, when somebody comes straight from the word and that's God's word, damn it, people like to hell, different. period, it's just, is offensive. It ain't no good right. way to say God. that. Right. So. Well, well, listen, we'll talk about this. You can call me in. I'm, I'm going to open up my thing on, on my YouTube probably tomorrow when I ain't doing nothing. We'll talk about this even further. I'll probably spend like an hour on this girl. Thank and, you. And listen, I'll do thank that. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. I still love you. I love you too, baby. Mm-hmm. I love you. And I love, the, I love the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> hey. What a quiet. Come on, Jesus. Okay. All right, next caller, baby. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to, you know, because I had to address that because a lot of times... A lot of my Christian fans be like, man, so why you lay us out like that? You know? And I'm like, girl, it's not that. It's just you have to tell your people They don't know that, what it is to be convicted. Well, they don't know what it is to be like to be every day getting up. And this is what you... you, you this is what you live. You live this every day. All right, let's go, honey. Come on, Jamel. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sister. All right, I can call up four five six five. That was a good question. This is the Supreme Court after show, which is just Madison and special guest Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's lecture? Yeah. Where you calling? Hey, Fox. This is your boy, Jay Pran. What's up, Jay? You know, I have to watch. What's up, boo? Yeah, yeah. What's up, Jay? Yeah, yeah. Hi, baby. How you doing? This is like one of my biggest fans. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Fox. This is your boy, Jay Pran. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Okay. Real record now is real. And I, I understand people are Nicki Minaj fans bars off, mm-hmm. now, but it's how we all wrong. It's 2018. Ain't nobody living on motherfucking Earth. All right, all right. I res- I, listen, I respect your really? opinion. I respect your opinion. <laughs> 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 Jamila got all the way in it. Hit me up when you get to LA. All right, baby. Love you, Jay Preet. Yes. Listen. All I, right, we in the thing. That's right. <laughs> guys, <laughs> listen. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, when you call in, I don't don't call in and be like I love I, I love he respectfully said his piece. We met each other, guys. When you call in, this is everybody. We have an opinion. I'm not trying to sway your opinion. You can't sway mine or whatever. And Tiffany has to do what Tiffany's in the business, and it, it is what it is. Per, my my comment on that, I feel like. Just like men, you talked earlier on the pre-show. You don't feel like that men have pit the ladies against each other? Men have done this. I feel the men have done this because the men have said there can only be one bad bitch. The men have said there can only be one queen. The men have done this I because... Like women, they're... I feel like women started and men manipulated. Women are just territorial. Very. By nature. Right. Okay, so that's just what it is. My thing is, you fall for it. Wait a minute. When you fall for it, it's the problem. I don't give a shit if it was little kids, men, women, Jews, Catholics, Christians. When you fall for it and you go with the narrative that women cannot support each other, that's what I have a problem with. So, okay, whoever put us against each other, who's going to break the cycle? That's all I'm saying. Right. I'll work with whoever wants to work with me, man or woman. It doesn't is it, it, it isn't about a gender thing for me. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. But if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. I'm not on this all this old fake woman empowerment shit. But behind closed doors, you really hate right. you shutting the door on another woman, and it gets back to me. Then I have a fucking problem with you, cause you following you following for the bullshit. When you start coming for my man, my money, my family, my bag, I have a problem with you. Period. And that ain't got nothing to do with gender for me. Okay. All right, let's take another caller. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to shed nobody's opinion, opinion right. or, 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 or experience down. It's, you know, politically correct. All right, next caller. Caller 0017. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Chia Patterson and special guest Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Where you calling us from? And what's your judgment on tonight's session? Go ahead, call on one minute. This is your boy Jay Khan out of the Jackson area, Jackson, Mississippi. All right, Jackson, Mississippi. I'm just calling to say, man, you doing the damn thing good. You did not need Kyle ugly ass. Oh, no, like, no, oh, no, 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 no. I am proud of you, especially because you are a transgender. I am very proud of you. No matter what your background was, this show is still banging. Fuck Kaya, and now you're number one. And as far as the Queen, Cardi, and Nicki Minaj, only thing I'm going to say is Nicki Minaj, you got old. It is okay. We still love you. But it's time for new meat. It's time for us to get new entertainment. So I feel like, you know, just like right now, everybody thinks that Beyonce is queen. Somebody could take Beyonce on if they wanted to, but why should they? People are just trying to get money, you know? So me, to you, I'm, I'm team neither or, because I love me from Cardi, but I see a jam to good form with Nicki Minaj. But that's neither here or there. So my vote is I'm with you. The men turned them against each other. The men need to figure out who's going to break it and unbreak their chain. But as far as you go, Maddie, do this to Kaya ugly ass again. And you're number one in my eyes. Thank you, Thank baby. Thank you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Love Thank you, you baby. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> let me just say this. I'm you a, believe that's true, though? I do have a question, though, for you. Hold on. Let me, let me say this. <laughs> and and I, I, just, I hate talking about that lady. <laughs> no, I just need to say this. What we had was is irreplaceable. It was special. Mm. It, it was. was. That's it. Period. I agree. That's it. Mm-hmm. She, she made her. Good. She made her decision to go where she wanted to go. 
She went where she wanted to go. She's gone where she at. I ain't, I ain't, she can read all day. I, sometimes I may pop back, you know, sometimes, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be 40, 50 years old, still going back and forth about the bullshit. Thank you. That's what it goes to. I'm not going to do it. Agreed. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. You know, on I would, your platform, though. On my platform. I wish her the best, you know. All right, so I just can't go through that. I just don't want to do it. Now, my, next month, I'm finna be 41 years old. I ain't finna be thinking about that, girl. Yeah. You sure? Listen, 41, listen. And, 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 and if I make a million motherfucking dollars, I'm gonna get her fucking, her, uh, I'm gonna send her a Christmas card. Yeah, Merry you Christmas, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, be, you don't don't have to wait to get 41 to be like that. It's, yeah. just, it's a way of thinking. So let's go on and take another caller. Eight, one, two. Mr. Payne, Supreme Court, after show with Judge Pierce Madison, a special guest, Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Will you call on from? What's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead and call on one minute. Hey, Maddie. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, um, Hi. Patrick from Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Patrick from Fort Lauderdale. Hey, um, I just wanted to tell you I love the show tonight. You did a good job, as well, as usual. Um, you look beautiful. Happy Thank early birthday. You know, um, you're turning 41, but you look 21. You look good. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, about the, um, the Cat Williams situation, I just wanted to say I, I half agree with Cat, but then I also agree with Kevin. Um, t um, Tiffany Haddish hasn't done an uh, hour-long special for us to know if she has the chops to pull off the offer that Netflix gave her. But at the same time, what Kevin Hart was saying, uh, people need to give her a shot because she has been grinding for so many years, and she deserves what she has going on now. So I, I, I agree with both of them on, di on different parts of the issue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, and also what I wanted to say is, um, I know y'all talked about it a lot already, but... I just want to start by saying I, I understand and I and I acknowledge that Lil Kim is a legend and she is in my book she is and she did shape 90s rap but my whole question is to Tiffany it's been years now and you're still being bitter on behalf of somebody who did nothing for your career so I'm not really understanding that aspect, why it's been so many years. You're still taking those jabs at Nikki, but you're still not in a position to get her attention. Mm -hmm. Like, Cardi, Cardi, somebody who doesn't even write they rap. All right, time up. Go ahead and answer that. <laughs> What's the question? He said that you're bitter over something, a beef that's between Nikki and, and Kim. That's what he's basically no, saying. No, I'm not bitter off of nothing. My, I'm not, like, I'm not a pawn. So I'm not in between the situation of Kim and Nikki. That is not my gripe. I have my personal issue with Nikki, the things that she's done behind the scenes that she ain't think got back to me. That is my issue. And as fans and spectators, I understand that you only see what's on Instagram and what's on social media or what's in your face. But it's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Just because I haven't made it to the status that you think or whatever and glorify and celebrate, I am the underdog, and I salute all the underdogs because we all are underdogs before we become successful. So it's just a situation where it's like I know personally firsthand where I've been offended by this individual. It's not no hate train. I, I like to salute women. But like I told you, things for me is not about gender. I'm not against this girl because of Kim. Kim ain't saying, yeah, go against Nikki. And, you know, like she's never on it. Actually, we don't even talk about her. At all. Like, Kim don't talk about this girl at all. This is my personal situation. So, anybody can come for me and be like, yeah, you ain't made it on her. I don't give a shit. Like, that's, yeah, that's y'all come back. I guess it's supposed to affect me or something. Or I'm supposed to lose sleep or some shit like that. But it doesn't, that's not it. It's really, I've been personally offended. That's it. Okay. All right. Next call on. Call on nine three one four. This is the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Kiss Madison and special guest Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? One minute, caller. 
Hey, this is Brandy. I'm calling from St. Louis. Tiffany, what's up, baby? What's up, Tiffany? Thank you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, girl. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm going to touch on a few things. Um, I think, uh, what's the guy saying? Cat Williams was a little, um, he was a little out of line by saying that. We always talk about, oh, we got to uplift people, but as a man coming down on a woman, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Let this, let this woman shine. At the end of the day, we haven't seen her comedy specials, but I'm sure that this girl has been doing comedy, comedy specials before we right. even see her on the big screen. Right. So, and I applaud Kevin, you know what I'm saying, having her back because men should be uplifting us women, period. I, I and agree. Especially but did you see the interview, Mel? Did so you I mean, watch the interview? I, no, I watched, I watched, I watched Kat Williams' interview oh, and I watched um, the Kevin Hart <laughs> and when he was on Breakfast Club, but at the end of the day, it's just kind of like, we all have our own opinions. I just right. feel like, what he did, what he did was was out of line. You know, salute that sister. So basically, day, basically, um, she was supposed to go slap him in the face five times, and he's supposed to say, "Yes, sir, yes, sir, master, yes, sir, master." No, not at all. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Cat, no, cat, she's cat, saying cat, that he's supposed to uplift her and have her back. That That's what she's saying. Lifted her instead of trying to come down on her. Right. And she salute Kevin Hart for having her back. Period. Because That's to be honest saying. with you, is, black and, and women I'm don't have no I'm support so system. Topic. We don't. We don't. Keep going. Keep going. Right. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the lab. <laughs> but no, I'm saying my thing is with the whole, the whole, um, the whole Nikki and everybody bashing each other. It's just kind of like these men, like Maddie said, these men are the reason why that we going. You know what I'm saying? Total to toe with each other. And like Tiffany said, we already, like, it's genetically enhancing us to, to be territorial and be possessive and be dominant and be, you know what I'm saying, competitive with the next woman. Where realistically, I know Tiffany for a fact, she big up everybody. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thank you. And the fact that y'all trying to be barbs, these fake ass barbs trying to come for her, y'all don't know. Tiffany is, Tiffany is true. And the Thank fact you. that y'all can't take her truth, y'all want to come at her, you bitches don't know, Nikki. You right. bitches don't know what Nikki do. Nikki played, she's a bully that she played <laughs> bitch. She is. Okay? Thank you. Period. At the end of the day, everybody, listen, Tiffany can outwrap half these hoes and get me shine. I'm not going to You better preach, time. girl. At the, day, at the end of the day, y'all can just expect. I'm just, uh, listen, because. You okay? Yeah, I'm just. I'm telling this talent, stop hating. She's beautiful. Y'all just mad because I can't really say shit bad about this. I'm saying tips all my fucking day. Thank you, punk and STL and this bitch. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Day. We don't play. <laughs> we will ride for ours. Y'all better stop coming for us. I'll find you and we going to We're going to show you what we want. Thank you, baby. All day. <laughs> Thank you, love. Okay. No, but, um, uh, Maddie, I love your show. Thank you. Give me you the shit. Thank you, Thank you, baby. You come back home. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day... <laughs> well, what you mean, come back home? Show us support so we can support each other. That's all. <sighs> so, I'm... Okay, I got a question because I see people in the comments say, So, I can't... Li- I can't... I can't like Nikki. I can't fuck with Nikki. Of Nick. course. No, no, no. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Can. Can. You can. can. I can't... It's because you have a personal relationship with her. Everybody yeah. else don't have one. So they just jumping on a bandwagon because of right. whatever reason or whatever she posts or whatever her whatever perspective that she sell. They jump on that bandwagon. You have a personal relationship. I have a personal relationship with Kim. This ain't I'm just jumping right. on this so it's bandwagon. Different. It's different. So I get and it. Everybody gonna have You're supposed to be everybody loyal. Gonna everybody gonna have a double standard. Right. But when you know when you know facts. Like, Tiffany can seriously sit up here and tell people stuff that she, that they're really, nobody's supposed to know. Right. But she, she live by the code, so she's not going to do that. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to come on no, no show that has, a, that has over a thousand viewers and speak, and speak fraudulent facts. Like, no, nobody's going to do that. Right. And Tiffany is the real they come, and that's why people are scared of her. Y'all right. better, y'all better recognize that. That's yeah. the truth, bro. Thank you, baby. Thank you. What's your name again? Right. Lie to my DM girl. <laughs> <laughs> you so no, I'm for real. No, I'm not just. I'm not just saying that. You know I'm what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's just real. Recognize real, and that's why a lot of niggas fuck with Tiff, and that's why a lot of bitches, a lot of bitches, are scared of her. Yes. Because if if she gets, man, listen. I'm just gonna say, let that bitch get her shine, and everybody gonna be like, who, who next? Oh, okay. Yes, it's gonna be a whole problem. Yeah, a whole, a whole thing. A whole problem. I've been the fans since motherfucking June 5th. Brooke, 
Oh, oh she said Jumpy. Thank you, baby. Jumpy. Right Shout out to Brooke. Shout out to Brooke. Scarlet I love you. All My right. dad is coming with me. Let's take another call. This is the call in show. We're going to let the calls just come on in. Girl. No, because I. What's, what's the matter? I, I'm damn. It seems like your bra is getting all it's in the It's not about butt. Brian getting yeah, in the bus. What's going on? I can't say nothing. I just, so I just <laughs> be quiet. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your channel? Go ahead, call. Yeah! <laughs> Yes. P.S. Motherfucking Madison. It's your big booty Judy from San Antonio, Texas. Come on, big booty Judy from San Antonio. San Antonio. Oh, I can't complain, child. I can't complain. <laughs> What's up? I just want to say, I just want to say that I am, that I think Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap, yes, but she's a fucking legend. She can give the queen of rap title to Cardi B, and everybody can just get along. But I think Nicki Minaj is a legend, and that's all, period. Okay. Good night, sis. Oh, sweet time. <laughs> sweet time. Uh, Tuck in real nice, sis. <laughs> okay. I love you, kid. I love, I love you too, I'm baby. You Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel like in order to be a queen, you gotta be like at least thirty. Oh man! All right, Jamel, you see what I have? Oh, you see, Jamel on that bullshit too, <laughs> though. Jamel, but Jamel, you see, <laughs> this is why I ain't got nothing to say. This is the cause. This is the cause. I'm letting the cause say what they gonna say. I'm letting Tiffany talk. I got. I'm. I'm just. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. You gonna get a phone right, call from me? Zero two nine you seven. do know that, right? It's you know how to get that girl in there from Abu Dhabi. Oh, she I'm watching this. You do know that, right? Oh, okay. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Go ahead, call. Me. All right. Well, this Tyrone calling from Baltimore. All right, Baltimore. Of course. Yeah, Baltimore. I got my tickets. I'm okay, so you got your Yes, Baltimore. <laughs> Definitely got a comment about the Nikki and Queen situation quick. Um, I, I feel like men started to put females against each other, but the females took it to another level, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's just one point. So I agree with Tiffany totally, totally on that. The other part is you can't waste history, right? Mm -hmm. Kim started this shit. Preach! The first one, you got, I mean, you got Queen Latifah, and you got other people that came, but no other female rapper was known or solidified or validated as the Queen of Rap before Little Cat. This is so just facts. Can never that's, that is a fact. Right. That's just facts. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what you say? That is a fact. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nikki came, and she did her thing, right? Like, I don't rock with her, but she, she did her thing. She fantastic in her made up way and that's fine for her. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you still cannot erase that. Kim is love will always be the queen. We didn't do that though. Whitney Houston didn't come in the game and take a reach of Franklin spot as the queen. Whitney yeah. was losing the world without disrespecting the yeah. queen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so that's that's what my piece is with me. Like how you wanna come in and come at somebody who straight Set the tone and opened up the doors for you to be in with a weird colored wig and look silly and do all that bullshit that you do and you spend a disrespect this way like hell no nah. like that's bullshit right. that's going against the code and the last thing I'm gonna say is that young I'm, I, I, I again I ain't had no like wild speeches I ain't from St. Louis and shit right but I've been listening <laughs> to you for a long time and I guarantee lyrically if you listen to Tiffany Fox lyrics, right? I'm talking lyrics. I'm not talking spells and, and fans and all that. Yes. Lyrically, people shit on Nicki Minaj in that. She knows that. Lyrically. Yes. Lyrically. Yes. All right, Maddie. I'll see you in Baltimore. I love you, baby. And you know what I love? I love that you in Baltimore, that you gonna come out to Baltimore and still hug my neck. And I, cause it's after this stuff is done, mm -hmm. I still I still got my own life. Like right. it's not my life. You right. know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like absolutely. You and know, I love you, I I love you, you know, like you just sit and do your thing, but you still show you. I watch you have your like your other hosts, and y'all still show them a certain level of respect, right? Right. So I appreciate that from you, right? And and, and it's all good. Yeah, we gonna party, like yeah. I can't listen. I mean, straight up. 
you can't disrespect him. Yeah. You can't. You know, I I I, I be I, I know one sickening song that I put on every. You know, if you follow me, you know I put that Kim song. Oh, I love that song. Like it could be a slow beat, a fast beat. I do that. Like I I don't hate Lil Kim. I feel like Kim. Bitch, Kim is a bitch. Oh, oh. bitch. I fuss with the girl. You know, but at the end of the day. You know, I like Nikki too. Yeah, and nothing. I wrong like with Cardi that. too. Yeah, wrong right. with that. I feel like you like Nikki until she tries you, and then you gonna have a problem. How you know that she didn't? How do you know that none of the? Because if it was really tried, y'all wouldn't be on speaking terms. Like to the point where you go off, where you feel absolutely disrespected or used, mm-hmm. then you are gonna be like, okay. Well, I ain't gonna let nobody use me though. See, that's the thing, mm-hmm. and the thing about it is. What well, you can't take nothing from nobody if the door wide open. That's true. So yep. that's just how it works. Giving it is not that's being true. used. You can't be mad about being a bad bitch. Oh, you know? so the Queen Radio. You let yourself be used. Queen Supreme Court. Okay. No, I, this is the Queen Supreme the Court. Queen the Queen's Court. Court was me and Kylie. Queen Supreme Court. The Queen Supreme Court is me and rotated oh. and rotated Queen, chair. The Queen Radio. Mm-hmm. Queen well, one thing you can't take nothing from nobody if the if if they if somebody left the door. Sounds similar to me. I mean, it's flattery. It's it is. But you flattery. can't take nothing from nobody if if you left the gate open. <laughs> I, I mean, I have. Uh, if Nikki's the queen, I just want to know how she has time to sit on the radio all day. That's what I want to know. She's now that's queen. genius. That's genius. That's genius. The fact that she went and got a radio show. That's genius as fuck. She getting paid from the advertisers and she's breaking her own material. She's not paying no other stations to break her shit. I didn't say That's nobody. A Hold on. I, put I didn't say nobody. I didn't nobody. say nobody bash Nikki. I said everybody can. I let everybody com- say they can. Com- where I said that That's they was bashing it. Where I said that I was bash that they bashed it. Where I said I said I say how I say how <coughs> I perceive it. I have the right to perceive it the way I do. Do you think she was inspired by your Queen Supreme Court? Yeah, okay. I do think that, yes. She, 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 had, she had to get a Yes, I do show. think that she was inspired she by that. Yes, I do. But I also but I also think that her show is a collection of shows. Like, I do think it's... I compare it to The Breakfast Club. Yeah. That's a good show. <sighs> That's right. Clean it up. All right. But for real. Like, we wasn't ready. We were visual. We were visual. All right, thank you, Paul. All right, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> You're welcome. So, Nikki got a man. So, this is not my right. So, what do you do with people like me who don't? I mean, I like all three. Oh, that's fine. You can like all three. Go Nothing's ahead. wrong I think, with I that. I think once you have personal issues, it's like if you went to the grocery store and Nikki buffed into you and she expected it's just you to the, apologize. It's just the Your image of her is painted now. It's not the same. And you know, it's just. Now, Kim and Car- I mean, Nikki and Cardi. Okay, Jamel, is there a number on the in the queue? <laughs> six seven four five. Last four digits six seven four five. <laughs> so yeah. is your mother? I it is. Right. You got that six seven four five number? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let, on, let her through. Uh, Jamel, Keep drinking Jamel will you allow me to have more than one minute, honey? Okay, because she's going to wear me out. Yeah. So let, she's telling me, she's coming to let me know she's going to wear me out. So I got to come on. I'm going to take off. I'm going to wear you out yet, but I want to say this first. Tiffany is absolutely fucking gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. Thank first you. of all, we need you to do, and I, I'll, I'll play for the same team, but we need you to stand up and troll the fuck around, okay? Okay. Snatch, bitch. Snatch, okay? <laughs> now, somebody tried to come for you a little while ago and was like, when has little Kim done for you? It's not about what little Kim has done for you. She's been a mentor. You course. know what? But my you thing know. is what little Kim has done, done for me. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, she's... If they were following you and was on your Instagram, they would see just a couple of days I was doing something. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Come now, on, we go the same. Ain't nobody changed how mad you feel about goddamn me. Right. Because I tried to motherfucking kill her every goddamn other fucking day. Did the bitch the devil and she won't listen. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. So everybody calling in. Don't waste your time. Right. Maddie gonna have to learn for herself whatever type of relationship they have. I don't speak on her and Kaya, and I'm glad that. Maddie got that person kind of together because at the end of the day, although Kaya may allow certain types of disrespectful things that he said, it shows the type of person Maddie is. She's a class act. She don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? 
All right? So I want to say that. Okay. Now, I would too protect you a million dollars if you don't talk about Nikki next week or next month because we don't want to hear no more about her. So, like, ever, never, ever again. Okay? You can be King Nikki. You know what I'm saying? But within reason. You know what I mean? Like, we can, we can celebrate Cardi without having to hear about Nikki all the time. And I believe everything that Tiffany said about Nikki trying to stop her bag because everybody can't tell the same lie. You know what I'm saying? Everybody says the same thing about her, and I'm not trying to convince Maddie on how she feels about Nikki. My issue is, my concern as the CEO is with motherfucking T.S. Madison and the day that motherfucking rusty ass say some fucking shit about Maddie, I'm gonna go the fuck off because I can see it's happening. The minute she don't feel what she want her to say or she not siding on her side, that's when she's gonna realize what is going on with Nikki. Like, what, I mean, Nikki has other things to be worried about. Like, your clothing line is no longer in Kmart, boo. Why was it in Kmart to begin with? I'm just saying. I ain't gonna go too far because I know that's your girl, T.S. But anyway, I just wanna say, Maddie, you know I love you. I know you Can't do. Can't wait to see you next month in Baltimore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna yes. turn the fuck oh, up. Yes. Oh, yes. Let me know if you need any security or whatever the case may be. Yes. Okay, I got you. Love you. And Tiffany, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's never too late. It ain't like you old. You know what I'm saying? You beautiful. You can pass for fucking 18, baby. 17, 19 or something. So don't let nobody try to make you feel like you don't have the ability to still make it. Everybody bust us at a different fucking time. And look what platform you're on right now. I know I'm going to go follow you. I was Thank you so much. You, was. you know what I'm saying? Thank I you. I with Lil' Kim Girl and I fucked with Lil' Kim Hard. Okay, thank and Remy, hard. That's mm -hmm. the best friend of my head. My little Kemp. Thank you, Remy. I don't love nobody more than I love T.S. Madison. So let me just say that. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you, Maddie, and some Miss Mary. Thank you, baby. Even the mail you gave me more than a minute on the phone, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> thank up. you Is so much. Is this pretty much in the jury tonight? That's what I want to know. Because I'm tired. Because hold on, Donna, nah, something just clicked in my head. I'm getting tired of y'all motherfuckers coming down here every goddamn Monday, drinking up all the liquor and eating up all the goddamn food. Bring your own bottle. That's that. Don't come at all. And Maddie forgave James. Oh, she's dreaming. Maddie ain't forgive his ass. And you're not welcome at the chateau. No motherfucker more. You or little Bill, bald headed Tamar Brady ass. Jesus Christ. I love you, baby. Team Maddie. She loves you, baby. What happened with Tamar? She read me all the way down. Last week it was Donnie Jesus. I already know that. This see, people don't understand that this I get up every day. I do my show. I go live. I know that people are gonna call it with their opinions. They're gonna call it their opinions, their feelings. And I'm not going to just cut a, bit, cut, cut a person off for how okay. they feel. That's just, okay. we got to have the freedom. Like, I don't got red. They done read me. So, I mean, it is what it but is. But you're definitely team Nikki, so I don't know why they're reading you. Because they don't want, they, oh, girl. Okay, next caller, Jamel, because we all, we about to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Caller one, yeah. six, seven, six. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with just kids, medicine, and special gift, Tiffany Fox. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's budget? Go ahead, call. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I have been waiting. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Maddie. 
Hi, Hi baby. Bo. What's popping? Um, my feathers got ruffled when the young lady asked you about the religion in the Bible. Uh huh. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go long, but I gotta say this because I held for a long time to say this. The Bible that everyone reads by King James. King James was a noted homosexual. I did hear that. So when you want to read the word and mm -hmm. you want to and, and you want to sit there and quote the Bible, the Bible was forced upon us. We were not Christians. We have to become Christians. So I want you to walk in your truth. You don't have to say, "Oh, I'm spiritual," because some lady gave her opinion because you said you were Christian. If you want to be Christian, you be Christian. If you want to be spiritual, you be spiritual. Mm -hmm. You be whatever you want to be. Yes. This world is yours. This Come on, Apostle. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I felt no, I got chills, girl. Yeah. 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 They will have a mortgage payment on you. <laughs> 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 Thanks, baby. Wow. Yeah, all yes. Oh, thank you, baby. She came in. I love y'all. I want y'all to continue to inspire and aspire, and you have a good night. Thank you, thank baby. You, thank you. She came home. Long yeah, she I she got was, chills. I mean, that was so true. That was very true. All right, one more call, Jamel, because we still I gotta get this woman out. It's one What's AM. Up, Alex Fitwood. All right. Hiya. Four love six nine seven two. <laughs> it's the Queen Supreme Court out to show with your kids medicine and special guest Tiffany Clark. What's your name when you call them from and what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead and call. What's the tea, daughter? <laughs> daughter, what's the tea? <laughs> hey, daughter! Yeah! <laughs> God, I just tell y'all, stop, let y'all know I love the show, and oh my God, I love, 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 Freddy. Love you, Tiffany. It Thank you so day. much. I'm glad I'm the last caller. I'm the last call today where I can say, what's the tea, daughter? Yes, daughter. Yes, daughter. Yes. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Bye-bye. 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 Bye -bye. All right. Jamel, is that, was, was that it in the queue, or do we have lots in the queue? Because we got to go because we bought this thing. Uh, you got lots in the queue. <laughs> I'm drunk. Okay. <laughs> That's it. She said that was it. She said Bye. She, we can talk all night. 17. We can talk all night. We got 17? 17 minutes. Yeah. I don't see this. Do have a... <laughs> speed let's, round. Let's, let's do a speed round. Tell them speed 20 round. 20 seconds. Yeah. All right. 30 seconds and I hang up. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> 20. 20 seconds. Let's all go. All right. Go ahead, Carla. Hey, Maddie. How you doing? Hi, baby. I love you guys. Y'all listen to us tonight. Thank you, Pooh. Hey, give the night to Jesus. 15 seconds. <laughs> yes, Maddie. Um, my name is Karen, and I just think I love all the ladies that rap. They make good music. But my thing, my birthday is next month along your birthday next month and my birthday next month. And I've been holding on so much, I just going to forget about everything I want to say. <laughs> but I listen to it, you know, I'm writing the book. Hello? All right, next call. Jamel. <laughs> Jamel, no. Jamel, no. Listen. Jamel. Like, it's counting down. Like, the, 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 the thing is counting hey, down. She already okay. Oh, my God. It's counting. Go ahead, Carla. Oh, our live is. Karen? Yes. You got 15 hey, seconds. Hey. What's up? What, what's up, Maddie and Tiff? Hi. This I just want to say I love both of you guys. I'm a Beehive member, but, you know, it is what it is. I ain't going to press on the issue too much, but, you know, we'll see what it comes to. You know what I mean? That's right. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good night. You too, baby. Thank you. We got one minute remaining, Jamel. One minute. So we ain't got but we got one minute. Look at you. Oh. 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 My mom is good. I love you. You ask me about Miss Mary every week. She love you. She she hey, listen yeah, to this stuff. Okay, well, I ain't gonna hold this 
All right, listen, that was it. We can't take no more. We only got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Share this live. Talk about it. Tell your mama them. Bad bitch commandment, August. No. October. <laughs> October 26th and it's bitch. You got me drunk. <laughs> All right, we love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.